afternoon, around 60 people gathered in downtown Cedar Rapids for an event they called a community cry out. KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain shows us why they say it's important to provide solidarity to marginalized communities ahead of President-elect Donald Trump's second term. These people gathered in Green Square Park Sunday evening because they wanted to band together in the face of a future they worry will be worse than the present. It was, it was probably one of the saddest days of my life because I know life is not going to be the same after that. Everything is about to change. Organizer Jess Karma is talking about the 2024 presidential election in which Donald Trump won his second term in the White House. The first day after the election, I was scared to death. What is, how is this going to affect me? Karma said she was worried about potential new policies in a number of different areas. If they take away the rights to gay marriage, that's going to affect my life and my children's life. Medicare, Medicaid, I know I've got my mom who lives on Social Security and she depends on those uh, services and I don't know what's going to happen. According to the ACLU, President-elect Trump has promised his administration would change federal policies that prohibit discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, I'm concerned as a woman who can still have kids. Um, I actually plan to get my tubes tied. Trump has said he would veto any federal abortion ban. But still, these fears and many others were why people gathered together to share resources if there are services that get cut or to help address needs that aren't getting met. My goal for tonight is really to make sure people have a resource that if they want someplace safe to go or they need supports for themselves, they have that. And they also gathered to find solidarity with others who shared their feelings. We at least know we're going to be going through this as a community. In Cedar Rapids, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News.